Hi everyone. So today in this video, we are going to see about the extent report. How to create the extent report for the basic, our, our code or basic framework or any test that you write for the basic purpose. Okay. I mean, we can use this uh, extent report for any framework like the test ng or along with the BDD to provide anything. We will see how to create the basic report of extent. Okay. So the extent report, uh, it offers like a four types of report types. So one is uh, extent spark and one is extent oven and one is email reporter and the call reporter, okay? So out of this four, uh, like extend spark, and you can see the uh, call reports, right? So these are the only two community versions are available. So remaining two is professional version. So we have to pay for that reports to use that uh, those two report types, okay? So to start with, we have to add the dependencies. So I have already taken the dependencies here. So this is a, a, the most recent dependency. I have just added to my project, okay? So after this, uh, we have to start uh, writing the code, couple of codes. So if you are using Maven, then this is a dependency. And if you are using Gradle, then this is a dependency. Okay. So if you are going to use the professional version, then you have to use this kind of dependency. Also. Okay. So after this, so today in this video, we'll see how to create the Spark reporter. Okay. Since we have added all the dependency, so I'm just going to create one main class okay, by the name of report. So after this, what we can do now, so we can start writing the code for creating the reports. The first one is we have to create the object for the extend report. So when you type extend, so here you can see extend report, extend reporter, spark reporter, everything is coming, right? So we have to select the extend reports, okay? Which is a class, main class, which will enable you the, the different types of report that is available in the extend report. So I'm going to create the object for this class. So now we have created the object for this. So this extend report is the main one, okay? The class will create the different types of report. So in that, we, in the extend, okay, so, so this is the extend report, which is giving you the multiple types of report, like a Spark report or event report or email call report, okay? So after this, we have to create the object for the Spark report, okay? So if you simply type extend Spark, Okay, the Spark class is coming. Okay, so this one also I'm going to create the object, extend Spark. Okay. And here it is asking for the file location. Okay, so the location that you want to create the report. Okay, so I'm just going to create one more file location. So the file location, uh, I mean, if you want to uh, create the report in particular folder, you can give that. So for time being, you know, I'm just going with the report.html. Okay. So which will create the report in my project location. Okay. So I'm just importing this. So here I have to pass this parameter file location value. Okay. So after this, what we can do now, we can, we have to, so now we have created the extent report. I mean, uh, sorry, extend spark report type, right? So now we have to start attaching our report to this extend report object. So when you type this and you can go for an attach report. Okay. So in the attach report, you have to append this extend report. Okay. So once this is done, so here you have to attach the spark report. Okay. So once this is done, our setup is done for the creating the report. So after the report, what we have to do, we have to close the report. I mean, we have to flush the report, right? So for that one, again, we have to go for extend reports dot flush, okay? So now I'm going to run this. So after running this, you can see one report will be created in this project location by the name of report.html, okay? So I'm going to run this as a Java application. So let me open this file location. Okay, so this is my file location. You can see one report is generated, correct? I mean, it is in the progress of creating. 
So let's wait for this run. Okay, the run is done. Okay, so 1131. So now if you go to this file location and if you just open the report, the report will look like this. Okay, so here you can see simple report because we are not adding any test here, nothing, right? So you can add multiple parameters like a test and the skip the test, failures, everything. So what we can do now, we can go and create some test here. So to create the test, again, you have to create the object of extend test. Okay. So this is, and again, you have to create a test. So this is, for example, test one. Okay. And so here we have to attach this extend report dot create test. You can see create test is coming. So here now you can give some test name like a test one, something like this. Okay. After this, like a test one dot, if you want to mark it as a pass or failure, you can mark it like this. So you can pass some parameter. Okay, this is pass. Okay. Similarly, you can add multiple tests like this. So I'm just copy pasting this one more time. So this one, I'm going to give it as a name as a two. And this test, no, I want to like a fail or I want to skip. So I'm just going for the fail option. So this is fail. Okay. Similarly, you can create for the skip also. So I'm just copy pasting one more time with the test three. And this one I'm going to skip. Okay. So now if I run this test, so I can see some details on the test reports here. Okay. So like we have written the three test cases, I mean three, three extend tests, right? So those will appear here. I'm just going to run again. Okay, the run is done now. So I can go to the report, uh, just do the refresh. So now you can see test one, test one, again, okay. We have not changed the name here. So this one test two, and this is a test three. Okay, let me run again. Okay, it is done. So now if I refresh this, you can see test one is passed and test two is failed. And you can see the message also. Right. So whatever the message that you are passing is the parameter and the test file, the extent test, right? So that will get appear in the report as well. Okay. So this is how we'll create the basic report. So apart from this, I mean, you can attach, I mean, you can, I can create this report with a test ng framework. Whenever your test case is fail, you want to take the screenshot and all, you can, you can implement the same concept in the test ng framework also. So this is how we can generate the extend report. Out of this, only two versions are free. So remaining things are not. It's a pro version. You have to go for a paid license. Okay. And this is a dependency you have to add. So the first line, we are creating the extend report object. With that, again, we are creating the Spark report object. After Spark, we are attaching the report, whatever the Spark report that we are creating here. Right? We are going to attach them. And we are going for the multiple tests. Okay. So when your test is done, and the report is kind of like a closing or pressing here. So after that, you will get the report like this. Okay. So this is what about the basic, the extend report, how to create and set up the extend report for your particular project. Okay. So in upcoming video, I will see how to integrate the same into test ng and taking the screenshot and attaching our respective screenshot to the respective test failures and all. Thank you guys.